you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. But Constantine will knock it over. When Jesus was eight days old, the holy foreskin of our Lord was removed. This is the landmark, the holy foreskin. The landmark was given to John the Baptist and returned to our Lord when he was baptized. When he was risen, the Lord gave the landmark to Peter, and Peter handed it to the Baptists. Clement was a false prophet and a corrupter of the church who sought to destroy the Baptists. When James was given the holy foreskin, the heavens were opened, the scriptures were delivered to him, and a voice said, This is my chosen king. Listen to him. King James led the Baptists to victory against Constantine and had a prosperous reign. But a demon appeared to Constantine in the guise of Mary and commanded him to conquer by the cross. James was slain, but before he died, he handed the landmark and the scriptures to Pastor Jim, who buried them in America. After exterminating all other Baptists, Constantine captured Pastor Jim and tortured him for months. Rather than submit to the Marian dogmas, Pastor Jim uttered his famous last words. It's John the Baptist, not John the Catholic. So the church was overrun with pagan, Mary-worshipping Catholics for 1,200 years. Then our Lord returned in the person of Martin Luther and posted the 95 Theses on the door of the Pope, which, which Theses totally taught modern evangelicalism. The Pope was, in fact, the Antichrist, and Luther was silenced. It was revealed to the prophet John Calvin that free will is a pagan lie, and to the prophet Zwingli that the sacraments are only symbols, and all else is pagan lie. Henry learned that only Mary worshippers forbid divorce, and he rebelled against the Antichrist, so that he could find a new queen. Henry's successors were just as corrupt as the Pope, and John Smith fled to America. Angel Pastor Jim led him to the burial place of the landmark, and the true church was restored. The spiritual gifts remanifested 200 years later in vindication of this. Now, at last, after nearly 2,000 years of obscurity and corruption, I have finally restored the church for good this time, and nothing shall destroy it. <laughs>